Solana continues to stand tall despite the chain halting, the the sell-offs, the involvement with FTX. All these sorts of things could have been stuff that really just, you know, crushed Solana, but it has continued to hold its ground. And there's one area specifically that it has done exceedingly well, and that is NFTs. Now, NFTs, okay, if they're not your thing, that's fine, right? I'm not an NFT guy. That's not my area of interest, at least at this point in time. But it is a very big part of Web3 that continues to grow. The landscape continues to build out further and further. And there are more use cases that are coming from NFTs every day. So I think it's something that's going to be around for a while. But right now, Solana still stands as the number two chain overall in terms of NFT volume. So here's the graphic that you can see. Now, obviously, right now, Ethereum is just crushing it. Okay, Ethereum is obviously the top dog when it comes to NFT sales over the last 30 days. But Solana sits at number two with over $50 million. You can see just below that, you have Immutable X, Cardano, Polygon, uh, all these other sorts of chains. Now, what has happened? Okay, Solana actually used to be the largest chain in terms of NFT volume, if you look at the last market cycle. But what has changed going into this cycle? Obviously, Solana's had a couple of those issues, which I mentioned, but one of the biggest things has been gas fees, right? Ethereum got to the point last market cycle, at the end of it at least, where gas fees, gas fees were a real problem. When it came to NFT minting, NFT selling, all these sorts of things, NFT buying even, Gas fees were an issue, okay? I, I happened to look at OpenSea at one point just because it struck my curiosity and I couldn't believe how much it costed just to transact with an NFT. That's where Solana was a big solution for a lot of people. Solana has cheap transaction fees and this is what people like, right? Who doesn't like cheap transaction fees? Now, here's the thing, okay? Solana currently sits at number two. As we get into the next market cycle, we all know that Ethereum has not addressed the gas fee issue. They want to try to fix it with sharding. They want to try to fix it with layer two chains. They have not done either of those yet. It is on the roadmap, but <clears throat> we don't know, again, when this roadmap is supposed to be followed through with or completed. Okay, Obviously, the actual rollout of Ethereum 2.0 or the merge took years to get done. Now, if that's going to be the case again, I don't know. But we're approaching a period where crypto adoption is going to spike. It's going to boom in a way which we really can't even fathom. And with that, again, is going to be high transaction fees. So this you this may show some sort of exodus again from Ethereum. People may be stepping away from Ethereum because of the fees that it has. And they'll be looking for solutions like Solana, for example, that have lower gas fees when it comes to transacting with these. Now, keep in mind, right, there's a lot of there's a lot of other chains out there right now that have low gas fees, okay? Cardano, for example, I talk about Cardano a lot here on the channel. Cardano's got cheap gas fees. And in fact, Cardano NFTs are starting to become a budding part of that ecosystem. If you remember a couple of months back, I believe it was October, they, they did almost $20 million in 30 days for NFT sales, making it the third largest NFT chain. Now, as Cardano continues to build out, that could be obviously a direct competitor to Solana. But I expect to see these bars on this chart move quite a bit more when it's all said and done. I think there's going to be a lot more disbursement amongst these. It's not going to be, you know, Ethereum staying as a monopoly. There's going to probably be, you know, a boom for Solana. There's going to be a boom for Cardano. There's probably going to be a boom for Polygon too. Matic has been absolutely crushing it on the things that they are doing as well. So just keep in mind, right? There, you know, Solana's got still a ways to go. It's got improvements to make, but who doesn't, right? What chain doesn't have issues that they can fix, okay? That's all, all I really got to say there, but very interesting to see, and Solana is, is staying strong as we know it. So appreciate you guys as always. If you haven't already, do show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Again, you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. Really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.